Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, another small pen haul uh, from my, well, from my Sunday morning pen hunt. Um, let's go straight to this large one here, as you can see, it says Parker Frontier. And if we open the box, look at that. We've got a bottle of ink, it says Parker Frontier. We've got the Parker Frontier pen there, never been used, as it, well, new old stock so it comes in this lovely box um, actually you'd be hard pushed to, to get actually some of the modern pens in a nice box like that but there you go anybody looking for a Parker Frontier it's available give me a shout so here's a few more that we got well actually when I say <laughs> when I say Sunday pen holler I'm, I'm slight fib because um, this is actually half of them from last Sunday and half of them I think I picked up half a dozen this Sunday as well so I've bunched them all together but yeah they were from a Sunday morning pen pen hunt um, now some of you people sort of say to me Steph where can I see the pens that you've got available the simple answer is here all these pens are available a lot of people will see these pens, they'll, res they'll uh, reserve them, subject to restoration. Some of these I'm going to use as parts, some of them I'll res well, some of them are lovely, they'll be restored and they'll be uh, available for sale. So the best thing to do, and then some people sort of say to me, well, how can I contact you? Nice and simple, send me an email. So you say, where, where can I see the pens? They're here. All are here. Some of them from my previous pen hauls are still available. Um, so yeah, just simply contact me. In no specific order. There we go, let's open this box. The Queensway Twin Set. Now, this is not a fountain pen. It's actually like a rollerball or a ballpoint with a pencil. But the reason I actually bought it is it comes in this lovely, um, what they term as candle flame. This green and black Again, the pattern is called Candle Flame. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you're interested, get in touch. Uh, there we go, a Parker. Uh, Parker 61, I believe. Yeah, as always, you can see the arrows missing there as well. So we've got a Parker. In fact, I've got lots of Parker 61s like that. So if you're interested, get in touch. Another box one here. Oh, there we go. A lovely pastel green Schaefer. You can see the white dot to the top there is missing. Um, but in lovely condition. Just needs servicing. I'll service that one. Where's you? You know, I know there's people out there that like the Schaefer snorkel pens. So why not get in touch? Um, here we go. We've got this lovely Waterman Ideal. You can see the... The lever there is broken off, so I'm going to have to buy a new lever box and replace that. But it's in this lovely, what they term as onyx. As I say, it's a Waterman Ideal. It's got a lovely Waterman nib there. So what we'll do, we'll restore that. Somebody will enjoy that. Somebody collects the Waterman pens. Don't be shy people, like I say, a lot of people think, oh right, well I won't get in touch because the pen may have already been sold. Yes, in some cases a lot of these will get sold very quickly. In some cases people believe that, no, it's not worth getting in touch because I bet it's already gone. If you don't ask, you don't know. What's this one here? Um, I can't tell. Ooh, and the cap doesn't seem to come off. Looks like a Conway Stewart by the looks of the clip. So we'll take a closer look at that. <laughs> there we go. Doesn't need any introduction. Parker 51. I've got loads of Parker 51s. I can't believe more people are not sort of asking me about Parker 51s. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got loads available, so if you're interested in 51s, get in touch. What's this one? Yeah, looks like, uh, if I just show you, it looks like a Stevens, a Stevens pen. With this sort of engine turn pattern, it's got the original nib 
they come up very nice a little bit discoloring to the top um, they restore very nicely and they're excellent pens for everyday writers um, look at this look at that beauty there a gorgeous Parker 75 this is a French version it's got this lovely pattern here which I believe the term is I think it's Perle a Perle pattern gorgeous nib okay cartridge converter um, I've actually got two not not this particular model I've got two 75s available both absolutely gorgeous um, this looks like it is a unique oh no Kingswood a Kingswood pen in this brown colour uh, looks like it's got the correct nib yeah we'll uh, we'll see what we do with that don't know exactly yet um, what's this one ah right this one I'm going to sort of uh, show you very quickly and pop that to the side interesting pen ok we'll show you that one in a in a uh, in a review look at this here a nice sort of gold plated wall pen um, alright looks like it's got a just bear with me a second yes it's got a warranted Delarue nib so it's not got the original nib so I'm not sure if we'll try and find a new nib for it or whatever but a lovely wall pen look at that the lever down to the bottom the bottom there a little bit of sort of plate loss there you can see to the end but once we get that serviced it'll be a nice user pen uh, look at this big large pen and if I show you the nib there look rather dirty but I don't know if you can see a lovely large number 50 nib do you know what it is yes it's the Parker Maxima so we need a new clip for it a new jewel that'll come up very nicely and there's people looking for these Parker Maxima pens uh, just a spare cap I think oh there look at that another interesting one there yeah what we've got here is a Parker uh, Falcon or the Parker 50 in this sort of matte black colour and look at that a gorgeous sort of silver and chrome chrome nib gorgeous nibs them lovely design so that one just needs, I don't know, doesn't need a lot, it's absolutely lovely condition. Um, we've got a Wyvern pen there in blue I think, is it? Um, let me see what model it is for you. Right, it's a number 81, nice, quite a long pen. Uh, yep, yeah, it's got a Wyvern nib, that'll come up nicely once we've restored that. So where are you wiving fans? Okay, look at that. It's got this horrible clip here. Very dirty. So it's obviously a Conway Stewart. But look at that. Uh, look at that barrel imprint. Lovely and clear. So it's a Conway Stewart. And the thing about this particular pen. It's got Conway Stewart. Down to the bottom it's got made in England. But there's actually no model number on it but it looks quite a large pen right it's got a Joro nib to the top as well so what we'll do we'll do our best with that particular pen it's a lovely chunky pen we'll do a little bit of homework but we'll get that one up and running and somebody will enjoy that for many years to come uh, looks like a Waterman there again another broken lever uh, yeah Waterman's pen Unfortunately, you can see the clip is missing. It's got a Waterman nib there. So, again, maybe a parts pen. Um, Schaefer. Schaefer pen. Okay, I'm not particularly sure exactly what model, but uh, I know it's a touchdown, as you can see there. So, a nice grey Schaefer touchdown pen. Uh, this looks like a nice, oh yeah there we go, speaks for itself, it's got this large M to the very top there, so what we've got is this lovely sort of pink and black marbled Mentmore, absolutely gorgeous, that'll definitely be restored, make great everyday writers, and there you go, it's a button filler, 
which is stiff so it will need servicing last uh, but well not last but not least what we've got here again just bear with me right it's a swan maybe Todd quite a thin model um, yeah it's an eye dropper no cap to it unfortunately so yeah a, a parts pen and there we go look another Mentmo this time it's a lever fill fountain pen ah it's got the wrong nib so I'll have to see if I've got a spare nib for a Mentmo but once again once them are restored they make lovely everyday writer pens so there we have it not as big as my sort of uh, long traveling uh, pen hunt this was uh, quite local so but we've got quite a few pens to be getting on with we've got other pens that I'm working on I've got other pens that are finished that are ready to go they've been fully restored I'm just waiting for people customers on them so once again don't ask me the question where can I see the pens you've got available because you've just seen them go and have a look at my other pen haul videos um, people ask well how, you know how can I contact you dead simple like everybody else like my regular customers send me an email so if in doubt just ask okay so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the video as much as I enjoy showing them to you. Don't forget leave a comment down below. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Give the video a thumbs up. But for now I'll just say Slavo Ukraini and bye bye for now.